We start with the black center string around which we will macrame. Now we take the second red string, fold it in half, and place the red macrame string under the black one like this, so a loop forms on the left side. On the right side, take the top string and cross it under the bottom red one, like so. Then string it through the loop to the left, going over top of the black string and under the loop. There. Now tighten the red string. And this is our first anchoring left facing knot. Now we have two even red strings on both sides. Take the left string and cross it over the right side under the black string and we start again. So take the top right string, cross it over under the bottom string, and over the black string and through the loop and tighten it again. Now let's do the third one. Take the left string, cross it over to the right side under the black string. Take the top red string, put it under the bottom string and over the black and through the loop on the left hand side. This is our third left facing knot. Now you can see the knots are starting to twist slightly to the left which is exactly what we want. And one more time, under the black string forming a loop, take the top red string, place it under the bottom red one, and over the black and through the loop on the left side and tighten it well again. We'll continue this way until we have macrame the desired length. Here we're fast forwarding and you can see how the knots are forming a left or counterclockwise spiral slowly. And don't worry, with a little practice you'll be doing this as quickly as you see here. There. We start with the black center string, place the red macrame string under the black one just like this forming a loop on the right side. Now take the bottom string and put it over the vertical one and then take the vertical one, place it over the black string and in through the loop underneath on the right hand side just like this. Here is the knot and now tighten it around the black one and this is your first anchoring right facing knot. We now have two even red strings on both sides. Now take the right string, cross it over onto the left side under the black string, take the top red string, place it under the bottom red string, over the black string and in through the loop and tighten. And we start again. Take the right string, place it under the black center string, take the top red string under the bottom one, over the red and in through the loop and tighten again. Now the third square. Take the right string, cross it over to the left side under the black string, take the top red one under the red one, over the black and in through the loop and tighten. This is your third square knot. Now we just fast forward and we keep doing the same thing, taking the le right under the black, top one then over, under, 
and through the loop and tighten. And we just keep repeating the same pattern and as you can see it's starting to twist very nicely to the right. There you have it. We start with the black st center string around which we will macrame. Take the red string, fold it in half, and place it underneath the black string so that there's a loop on the left, just like this. Then take the top red string on the right, put it under the bottom red string like so, then string it through the loop to the left, going over top the black string and under the red loop. And here is the first knot. Now we'll tighten it. And now we have one red string on either side. Now take the right one underneath the black, just like this. Then put it over the left side, take the left side over the black and under in through the loop and tighten. Now we start with the left side and we place it under the black string like so, over top of the right string, pick up the right one and put it over the black, in through the loop and tighten. And here we're alternating the left and right sides. So this time we're going to start again with the right side. Take the right string under the black, put it over the left side, pick up the left string, put that over the black one, and in through the loop on the right side, and tighten. Now the left side, under the black, over top of the right one, or here we're going to take the right one and we're going to place it actually underneath. You can do it either way. And take the right over the black, in through the loop, and tighten it nicely. Good. Now the right side under the black and over top the left, pick up the left, over the black and in through the loop and tighten. And you can see a nice square knot starting to form. Now the left side underneath, over the right like so, pick up the right one Place it over the black, in through the loop on the left, and tighten. There. Now we speed it up, but we keep doing the same thing. Alternating red, right side, and left side with the red string. Just like so, and you can see a nice pattern starting to develop. left one, now the right, now the left, and the right, and the left, and the right. And we keep repeating the same alternating pattern, and this is the square knot. Fold the string in thirds, and pin the string at the first third, so that one third of the string is to the left, and two thirds are to the right. We pin it at the top so it's easier to work with, just like this. There. Now take the longer string, place it under the shorter one, forming a loop on the right side. And with the same string, loop back over the short string and under through the loop on the right. And tighten it up at the top and this forms your first base knot. Now we tighten the shorter string and fix it to our board. Here we do it with a pin just to make it easier for us. 
and will continue to macrame with only the longer end. So we put it underneath and back over and through the loop and tighten. And again, place it underneath, forming a loop to the right, bring it back over and through the loop and tighten. And again, under the center string, bring it back over and through the loop, tighten it nice and well. Now the next one, under the center, back over, through the loop, and tighten. And we keep repeating. We're fast forwarding here, making 11 more knots. Under, over, through, under, over, through. That's it, and we just keep repeating it. There. Now, if we remove the pins, we can see that the spiral is starting to form, going to the left, and this is the half hitch spiraling to the left. First, we fold the string in thirds and place it so that the shorter one third of the string is to the left and the longer two thirds are to the right. We'll pin it at the top so it's easier to work with. And take the longer right string and we'll place it over the center string just like so. Then we take it back under and through the loop. Now tighten it nicely and this is our first base knot. Now we pin the bottom string so that we can work with it better again. And we pick up our right string, place it over the center string like so, then underneath and up through the loop and tighten. And again, we re repeat it. We take it over the center string, underneath, and through the loop and tighten. Over, under, and through the loop and tighten. And again, over and under and through the loop and tighten. And over, under the center, up through the loop, and tighten. And over, under, up through the loop, and tighten. And as we take it out, you can see that it's starting to spiral to the right. And we can continue with it without the pin in the same way. So we take it under, over top, and under and through, and tighten. And over, and under and through, and tighten. And again, over top, under and through, and now we're going to Speed the video up, fast forward, so that you can get a sense of the pattern. And we keep doing the same knot, over, under, over, over, under, and through, over, under, through. And here you have First we fold our red string in thirds. We'll pin it at the top at the one-third mark so that we can work with it better. The shorter third is to the left and the longer two thirds are to the right. 
like so. Now, we're going to work with the longer string to the right. We're going to pick it up and we're going to start underneath the center thread, forming a loop on the right side, over and under through the loop. And tighten the knot nicely. And we have our first knot. Now we're going to go over top. But first, let's pin the bottom string so we can work with it a little bit easier. And over top, then back under and through the loop on the right. And we have our first pair of knots. And now we start again with underneath, back over, and through the loop on the right. And this time over. Top, there we go, and back under and through the loop. And we have our second pair. Tighten it well. And we'll start our third. We'll go underneath, like so. Then back up top and through the loop. And tighten it. And now we fast forward going in the same way. So once over to start, then once under. We're alternating under and over and under and over. Each time, make sure you tighten it nice and well. And here we go. This is our finished knot. We start with the black center string around which we will macrame. Now we take a second red string and we'll fold it in half, like so. And we will place it under the black string so that we have half of the red string to the right and half of the red string to the left. Now take the left string, put it under the black string so we have a loop on the left, like so. And we take the black red string and we put it over the black, under the red, back through the loop that we formed. And now carefully tighten it, like so. And now we're going to pin the black center string just to make it easier to work with. And now we take the right string, place it over top of the black string, and back under and through the loop on the right, like so. and tighten. Now back to the left and we take it under the black string, back over and through the loop on the left. And tighten. Now the right string. We take that we place it over the black string, under the black string, and through the loop. And tighten. Now back to the left, and the left one goes underneath, through the loop, and we continue with the right. Here we're fast forwarding it. And we're alternating strings and also alternating under and over. So the left one always goes under and the right one always goes over. Left is under, right is over. And you can see the st spiral starting to form nicely here. And here you have it.
We start with the black center string around which we'll macrame. Take a second red string, fold it in half, and place it on top of the black center string. And we start with the first knot. Take the left string, place it over the black center string. Then take it back under the black one and through the loop on the left. And tighten it well. Now we'll take the right string, place it under the black string, then we'll take it back over and through the loop that we formed on the right. And we tighten it, and here we have our base pair. Now we're going to pin the black center string to make it easier to work with, and we'll go back to the left red string. So take the left string, place it over the black one, then back under and through the loop on the left, and tighten. Now the right string. We'll place that underneath the black string, back over and through the loop on the right, and tighten. We have our second pair. And back to the left. We take the left over top and under and through the loop and tighten. And the right string. We take that underneath the black, back over, through the loop on the right, and tighten. There we go. Now back to the left. We take that over the black, under the black string, and through the loop. Tighten. And the right string underneath, back over top, and through the loop. And tighten. Good. Now the left, over, under, and through the loop. Tighten in the second half of this pair. Take the right under, over, and through the loop, and tighten. Now we can see the spiral starting to form. And now we fast forward, alternating left and right, the left always going over top, and the right always underneath. So left over and then the right under, making pairs of knots. And we see the spiral now even better. Left and right. And here we have it. We start with the center black string, which we have pinned at the top. We'll take our second red string, which we will first fold in half. And we'll start the base knot by placing the red string on top of the black. We'll have half of the red string to the right and half to the left, like so. Half to the right and half to the left. Now we'll start with taking the left one over the black, then back under the black and through the loop that we formed on the left. Now tighten it as well as you can, and now we go to the right one, and we take it over top of the black, like so, forming a loop on the right, then under the black string, and in through the loop on the right. And we tighten both of them, and we have our base pair, just like so. Now to make it easier, we'll pin the red, the black string at the bottom, like so. And we'll start again with the left side. So we take the left string, place it over the black string, forming a loop on the left, 
bring it back under the black string, up through the loop, and tighten. Take the right string over top of the center black, back under, and over through the loop on the right. And tighten. And that's our second pair. Done. Take the left, over top, back under and through, and tighten. Now the right over top, back under, and through. And now we fast forward, but we continue with the same pattern, taking alternating left and right sides and always taking them over top, then under and through. So the right, now the left over top, under, through, right over top, under, through, and just keep alternating. And you can see the pattern starting to emerge here nicely. Left and right left and right, and here you have it.